If you are looking to fine tune or train a model, the first step you should be thinking about is creating a quality data set. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create a data set for training and also for the validation in a very, very quick way. For this purpose, the inspiration for the code and the idea has been taken from this awesome course by Sebastian Rushka's tutorial, which go into way more detail around building a large language model from scratch. But this is a trimmed down version where we'll just be focusing on data set creation. So I will be pasting the code here and first I will explain what is happening and then we will run it. So this is a code, a very simple one if you actually look at it. So what is happening here is we are preparing a data set for text classification by the way and we are importing some of the necessary libraries like URL lib for downloading files from URLs, zip file for handling zip archives because I will be downloading this URL. This is a public uh, zip file available which contains SMS and spam collection and of course you can use any data any file of your own choice but make sure that it is tab delimited and has two columns or you can just adjust the code if you have more columns and if you have a delimit and delimition uh, other than tab then we have os for interacting with the os and then path lib for working with file pass because we will be storing it locally and then most importantly the pandas library because we will be using for data manipulation and analysis so and then we have this URL, we uh, have this zip file path and this extracted path should be this. So it will extract it into this folder. And then similarly, we are just uh, giving it the extension uh, TSV or you can just select your own. And then this is a download and zip function, which is a very simple Python function, which is taking as an input URL, zip paths and all that stuff. It is checking if it exists. It downloads the file from that URL by using that URL lib and request HTTP method. It unzips the file. And then after that, it adds the TSV extension. And then it just saves the file locally. So let's run it. I'm also going to open this folder icon so you can see that it is, okay, sorry. It says they're not connected to a runtime. So let me quickly select here, change runtime type. I'll go with T4 GPU and now let me run it. So it should be able to run it and really hats off to Google for providing this free T4 GPU. Okay, so the fi file has been downloaded as SMS spam collection. If you refresh it from the left hand side, you will see that now our zip file is there and also we have our tsv file created and this is all we needed in order to download let's import the pandas library and then um, we will load this file into pandas data frame let me close this window let's put, uh, put the code here so this is all i'm doing i'm just loading it into the pandas data frame let me run it and pandas is very quick you see we have around over 5,000 rows in that data set and it has two columns and it is tab delimited. That is done. Now let's check the class distribution within this data frame. So primarily what we are checking is that how many unique values are there in this data set just to make sure that our data set is equally distributed so you see the word spam appears 747 times and ham appears 4000 almost 4800 times so we want it to it's not it is quite skewed so we want it to be equally distributed so that a data set will not be tilted or biased towards more towards ham so let's try to make both ham and spam 747 so, and also we want a smaller data set for educational purposes. So we, we are going to under sample it or sub sample it so that both the values ham and spam appears 747 times. So for that, we need, uh, just let's define a balanced, create balanced data set function. And really hats off to Sebastian for this. So you see, so first we are counting the instance of spam 
and we are randomly sampling the SAM to match the number of spam instance above and that is the beauty of pandas 2 and if you don't know pandas i would highly suggest you learn it at least this bit because this is awesome okay so let's create this function that is done and this is the magic where we are distributing it so let me call it in the next cell then you will see that both values are 747 now both have and spam so our data set is balanced now next let's change the string class label ham and spam into integer class label 0 and 1 so that is faster and easier for the llms to use then we are again using pandas to map ham to 0 spam to 1 that is done and then let's define a function that randomly divides the data set into training validation and test subset let me paste it here so if i show you this code it's a very simple random split function we are shuffling the entire data frame and then after shuffling we are calculating the split indexes from there we are splitting the data frame in the training validation and test data set and then that's it we are returning it so and we have just put the test size as heat value of 0.2 as the remainder and this is where we are uh, splitting them up i will also open this and then let's run it that is done so quick and you see we have now test train and validation data set so that is how easy it is to create a classification data set uh, from a simple delimited file and this is a very scalable code which you can use for any data set of your choice but you just have to make sure it is delimited and it is properly distributed and if your data set has more columns you can adjust this code with the pandas library if you want to do more mapping you can do that too and if you really think about it with few additions you can create a dpo data set even orpo data set very very easily for the class classification purposes so i believe uh, that this code is awesome i'm going to put this code in my blog and i'll drop the link in video's description also towards the end really huge credit and hats off to sebastian for creating this, create this awesome course and as i said earlier i'm going to drop the link to this course in video's description too if you're interested in it i would highly suggest you read this this book is also awesome so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any thoughts let me know i'll be happy to answer if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching